posterior triangle of the neck it is a triangular space between the sternomastoid muscle and the trapezius boundaries of the posterior triangle anteriorly it is bounded by posterior border of the sternomastoid muscle posteriorly it is bounded by anterior border of trapezius inferiorly formed by middle third of the clavicle the apex of the triangle lies on the superior nuchal line at point of meeting between sternomastoid and trapezius muscles. This is the posterior triangle of the neck, bounded anteriorly by posterior border of the sternomastoid. Posterior it is bounded by anterior border of trapezius. The base is bound by middle third of the clavicle. Roof of the posterior triangle formed by skin, superficial fascia including platysma muscle, external jugular vein with cutaneous nerves of the cervical plexus, and deep fascia which is a part of investing fascia of the neck. The floor of the triangle is formed by deep fascia covering the following muscles. Spilinius capitis, levator scapulae muscle, and the scalinus medius, what is called SLS. This is the floor of the posterior triangle, spilinius capitis muscle, levator scapulae muscle, and the scalinus medius muscle. The contents of the posterior triangle muscles, which are found in the posterior triangle. Inferior below of homohyoid muscle, which cross the triangle above the clavicle and directed upward to disappear under the sternomastoid muscle, where it joins the intermediate tendon. The homohyoid muscle subdividing the posterior triangle into occipital triangle and supraclavicular triangle. The vessels in the posterior triangle number one arteries. The third part of subclavian artery, then subclavian vein in the lower part of the triangle. Number two, supra-scapular and transverse cervical arteries arise from the thyrocervical trunk of the first part of subclavian artery. In addition to external jugular vein, which pierces the deep fascia of the roof above the clavicle, to end in subclavian vein. This is subclavian artery and this is the subclavian vein. The nerves of the posterior triangle. Number one, the spinal root of the accessory nerve appears at the middle of the posterior border of the sternomastoid muscle after supplying the sternomastoid and crosses the triangle downwards and backwards to disappear deep to trapezius and supplying it. Number two, branches of the cervical plexus appears at the posterior border of the sternomastoid and it gives the two types of branches. Number one, muscular branches. Number two, cutaneous branches from the cervical plexus. Number three, roots and the trunks of the brachial plexus passes between Scalinus anterior muscle and scalinus medius muscle. This is the sternomastoid, and this is the sum of the branches of the cervical plexus is the transverse cervical nerve. Then branches of the cervical plexus appear as the posterior border of the sternomastoid, and they give the two types of branches: muscular to supply levator scapulae, scalinus muscles and proprioceptive fibers for sternomastoid and trapezius muscles. The cutaneous branches of the cervical plexus, number one, great auricular nerve directed upward to supply the skin over the angle of the mandible. The root value of the great auricular is cervical two and three. Anterior or transverse cutaneous nerve of the neck, also cervical two and three, passes transversely towards the midline of the neck. Lesser occipital nerve arises only from cervical 2, since along the posterior border of the sternomastoid muscle. 
to the supplies scan of the occipital region. The last nerves are supraclavicular nerves from cervical 3 and 4, passes down as, as three branches, medial, intermediate, and lateral branches which cross the clavicle. This is the supraclavicular nerve. This is anterior, and this is the posterior, and this is the middle. This is lesser occipital nerve, and this great auricular nerve, transverse cervical nerve, and this is the accessory nerve. Suboccipital triangle bounded above and medial by rectus capitis posterior major and minor. This is rectus capitis posterior major and this rectus capitis posterior minor. Then above and lateral superior oblique. Then below the inferior oblique muscle. This is the suboccipital triangle. The roof is formed by semispinalis capitis and the longissimus capitis muscle. The floor is formed by posterior arch of the atlas and the posterior atlanto occipital membrane. The contents of the suboccipital triangle. Number one, third part of vertebral artery just before entering the cranial cavity. Number two, first cervical or suboccipital nerve supplies the suboccipital muscles. Number three, greater occipital nerve from second cervical. It is the thickest cutaneous nerve in the body. It hooks around the lower border of the inferior oblique muscle. Number four, suboccipital venous plexus. Number five, mass of fibro fatty tissue. This is the suboccipital triangle, rectus capitis posterior major, and this is the rectus capitis posterior minor. And this is superior oblique muscle, this is inferior oblique, and this is the third part of the vertebral artery.